All right. Um, hello, everyone. Um, I'm Mohammed Al Mashika, and I'm here to talk to you um, about my three months of internship that I spent here at Mozilla as part of the security engineering team. Uh, the project that I worked on is improving the revocation of SSL and TLS certificates and exploring the revocation jungle that is out there. So when Firefox connects to a secure HTTP server, the server responds with a certificate presenting and establishing the server identity, uh, where it binds the URI that presented in the browser with the identity and the information of the server. And such certificates usually have um, a long lifetime. Um, it, it could be a year, it could be two, it could go up to 10 years sometimes. And in many cases that we need to revoke a certificate before the expiration date uh, in the certificate itself. That could happen for multiple reasons. We could have a key compromise, we could have a misissuance, we could have uh, so many reasons why that is needed. So traditionally there is two main mechanisms of doing so. The first one is CR, uh, the CRLs, which is the certificate revocation lists, which is contained, um, which is a list signed by a CA and contains all the certificates that has been revoked by a particular issuer. The other protocol of doing so is OCSP, which is um, a CA server that when you get a certificate, you could ping that server and asking whether that certificate is valid or not then you will get a response, um, a side response saying yes it is valid or it has been revoked. So what we do in Firefox, we actually check only the end entity certificate, which is the certificate that has been provided by the server itself. Because when the server provides a certificate, that certificate needs to be signed by a CA and it goes into a chain of signatures until it goes to one of the roots of the CAs that has been trusted by Mozilla, which is part of the CA program and usually audited uh, and uh, compliant with the requirements that uh, Mozilla sets. So currently in Firefox, we check only the end entity certificate. And um, in fact, when we don't get a response, we automatically assume it's trusted. And this is particularly alarming because we're increasingly seeing cases where the compromise happens in the middle of the chain, such as in the DigiNortar case. And um, all what the adversary, if he managed to position himself between the browser and the server, could simply just, and the CA server could simply just block all these uh, responses, and then the browser will simply assume that it is valid. And when something um, uh, bad happens, such that in the DigiNortar case, we have to change the logic of the search verification <coughs> of Firefox itself and ship a new release. And this is exactly a link to the blog post, what happened in the D DigiNortar case. So what I did um, at Mozilla in the past three months is that I started in building a tool to analyze the SSL and TLS jungle out there off the Alexa top 1 million sites and see what kind of certificates out there, what kind of secure servers, to get kind of an idea of what is the secure communication of these top 1 million sites. Then based on that, I built another tool that builds on that to analyze the revocation dynamics that is happening. What certificates are being revoked, what um, the response rates of the CRL servers, what this, um, are all the serial servers responding and all that, uh, trying to answer all these questions such that to be able to come with a better way of revoking certificates inside Firefox. Then finally, I started implementing a better approach for revocation, which is part of um, a more enhanced revocation um, proposal that Firefox is currently um, adopting. And I was doing the serial set part of it, and the other part of it is the OCSP stapling, which is I will talk um, a little bit about later in the slides. So when I was looking into what is being revoked out there, there um, from the Alexa top 1 million sites, there were about 1,700 serial servers and about 1,300 
OCSP servers. And then I started like pinging these servers to see which one of them is really live and responding. And only half of the CRL servers really responded with something, which means about half of the CRL servers are not really giving any response, which means roughly we're talking about half of the certificates that we get we're not being able to, to um, detect. It's not really half, but that just an estimation. Um, the total size of the CROs was about 98 megabytes, which means if you want to verify all the Alexa top 1 million, you have to download an extra about 100 megabytes to be able to verify those. And it's, it's about an average of 100 kilobytes um, per CRL. And there has been 2.65 million certificates that has been revoked by these CROs, which is a huge number of certificates. And OCSP, there is um, a more of a performance concern because you have to ping the OCSP server for every certificate to check whether that certificate is valid or not. And more alarming is that there is a privacy concern because CAs could basically profile you for every uh, certificate that you ping saying this user visited, visited this place and then build a profile for that, which is something that we don't want. And responses with a good connection with a laptop uh, in the U.S., we have 200 milliseconds to get an OC response. Um, imagine that in, in a Firefox OS where uh, the resources are scarcer, so this is, could be a bigger problem. So what, why and these certificates has been revoked? Um, there is um, 11 standardized reasons for certificate revocations. As you might see that the majority of these certificates uh, the CA does not even specify what that certificate has been revoked, which is also another problem for us because we cannot simply bundle 2.65 million certificates in Firefox and say these are revoked because that's going to substantially increase the size and make um, the search a little bit more um, uh, expensive. So we saw also key compromise is a major issue, and key compromise here means that um, it's the server operator key compromise where it's the end entity certificate. However, in the other like spectrum, we say like CA compromise is only 45 um, CA revoked certificates that has been compromised in that list. And um, it, it, you could, if anyone interested, can look later of the numbers and um, uh, analyze them. So clearly, we're in a bad shape. We need to do something. Revocation servers are not responding. A lot of certificates has been revoked. CROs <coughs> are, a, are like an overhead of 100 kilobytes uh, per CRL. OCSP has a privacy concern, and we need to ping the server for every time. So do we, we have that trade-off? Is it always performance versus security, security versus privacy, or can we do something better? So clearly, we need more than one mechanism. As I've said, we cannot bundle 2.65 million certificates into Firefox. Currently, we, there is two approaches within um, uh, Mozilla. The first one is OCSP stapling, which is done by um, David Killer, who is part of the security engineering team. It's already in nightly right now, the, the stapling, which is basically saying for the server who is providing the certificate, also bundle the OCSP and staple it with that certificate and give me both of those such that you say, the server can say, this is my certificate and this is the proof that my certificate is valid. And that OCSP response will be um, fixed by the server from the CA, which is um, eliminates the problem of um, the CA being able to track the user's activity. And um, there is a blog post that has been posted um, just about two days ago about OCSP uh, stapling. And the other mechanism, which is the serial set, which is the mechanism that I'm working on. So just to put things in perspective, that's kind of the map of the revocations and, and the, the, the challenge of revocation and what a lot of considerations that need to be taken and what people are doing. And currently in Firefox, these two that, that we need to to, uh, that we're currently implementing. Um, so CRL said Firefox will, um, will be having two basically CRL sets. The first one is a preloaded CRL set. So what is, if I just give a little bit of explanation of what is a CRL set. So now we have, we know CRLs, the CRLs 
are a list of certificates that have a list of serial numbers of certificates that has been revoked by a particular issuer. And our serial said we will have a list of revoked certificates from multiple issuers such that in Firefox when it gets a certificate it will check the issuer if the issuer is in the list check if that particular certificate has been revoked or not. So as I've said we will have two serial set. The first one is a preloaded that is will come bundled with the server and the other one will be dynamic which will allow us uh, allows us to push the revocation information seamlessly to Firefox and not having to ship a new release to update the revocation information. But then the question comes up, what should we include in that CRL set? We clearly can distinguish between two major categories. The first one is revocations due to CA mistakes, such that a CA misissued a certificate, there has been a CA compromise, and since we really trusted the CAs, or these CAs has been trusted by the root CAs, which is part of our CA program, we will have these certificates revoked um, as part of the CRL set in Firefox. However, revocation due to server operator mistakes, we give the OCSP stapling mechanism and OCSP must staple such that servers could have a way to revoke these certificates without having to overload the, fire, uh, the Firefox with a lot of revoked certificates and not having to bundle it with, with uh, millions of certificates. So currently to start with, we started taking the CRLs to, to populate our CRL set. We took the CRLs that has been um, uh, provided by the CR servers and based on the revocation reason, so if the re revocation reason is CA compromised, we will take that certificate and add it to our CRL, uh, our CRL set. And then basically for every CA compromised certificate, we revoke it and in the revocation mechanism that currently implemented in the CRL set, we revoke all the certificates, um, uh, we check all the certificates in the whole chain. So it's not only now just the certificate of the end entity, even if an intermediate uh, CA certificate has been revoked, we check that and revoke it, and then we just prevent the Q Q secure communication for ha from happening because the certificate is revoked and that communication is not valid anymore. So what has been done, the code that I, the, the tools that I built is already available and uploaded in GitHub for public use um, under uh, Mozilla license and um, open source licensing and um, for anyone can download it and look at it, improve it and use it. The serial said there is already a bug. The preloaded set is um, already in final testing and review stage right now. The dynamic one, most of the logic has been done that checks the, the CRL and make sure nothing has been um, revoked as part of that. But still more work need to be done for fetching that uh, dynamic CRL set from Mozilla server and seam seamlessly pushing that CRL set into um, the uh, Firefox uh, releases. So that yet to be done. Um, and basically that's all the work that I have been doing here in the past um, three months. Final thoughts that I have, uh, the SSL and TLS is really a bigger miss than I thought. I already knew it's a miss, but it, it's really a bigger miss than I thought. It was really interesting to work on cutting edge ideas that um, really almost no one has did something before. Google did some similar CRL set idea, but they didn't publish what basically their criteria of including which certificate they include in the CRL set, what certificate they don't. So data in these circumstances is really gold, and that's why I um, implemented that simple tool to pull out data and do some analysis. Special thanks to um, Sid, great manager, and Camilo, my advisor, and Brian Smith, who has been really, really helpful um, for me to uh, do all that work. So um, thank you very much. And the presentation, I will make it available. I didn't put it any, in any public space yet but um, will be available and um, these are my contact details if anyone interested in any more like about the data or any more information about the topic. And I'll be happy to take any questions. All right. Good. Great.
So, thank you, Lauren. All set. Thank you.